All right, why is March one of my very favorite months here? Oh, well, the weather's fantastic. The skiing is off the charts. It has been all year long, but the days are getting longer. It stays light to almost nine o'clock now. So I get to go ski longer in the day. I love Telkeetna in winter because of this. Not to mention the fact that we have friends here. Wait, that would be number two. No, that would be number one. We have friends here and she's got history here. Uh, the mountain views here are awesome. It's a small town. The people here in this small town are great. The coffee's great. The food's great. The beer is great. I mean, I can go on and on. I put her on the spot. The number one reason Rhonda loves talking to us because I'm here. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Where Angie goes, I go. Hi, I'm Rhonda. I'm Angie. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. And we were getting a little cabin fever, so we decided to come down to uh, downtown Talkeetna, the big, huge metropolis of downtown, and just kind of hang out, go for a walk. It's March, my favorite month in Alaska. It's, the weather is so nice, and we just had about eight inches of snow, so everything's like nice and pretty again. Yeah, never get tired of coming into this town. There's always something to see or do. Plus, it's got our favorite coffee place and plenty oh, yeah. of favorite places to eat. Well, while we walk around, we'll show you how this town looks in winter. You've seen it in the summer, but it's completely different. And now with the eight inches of snow we just got, it's made all that icky brown snow to go away. Yeah, lots of people uh, enjoy coming here, not just during the summertime, but the wintertime. There's winter events, uh, there's sightseeing, um, flight seeing, ski races normally, pre-COVID. You can rent bikes. Uh, you can rent skis. Yeah. Winter wasn't as cold as other winters. It did get down to 18 below, but I've seen it as cold as 50, 50 Fahrenheit below. Uh, so the river didn't freeze over as much. It did in parts. And the people were still able to go across in their snow machines, but there's definitely some open water tracks around. If you ever find yourself in Telkeetna, make sure that you get off the beaten path. And by that I mean, just get out of the first main drag. Don't just stay on the main drag. It's so crowded in the summer. There's a little museum, a cute little museum that's just off one street. I think we're going to go down to the river and then see what else we can see. Oh, you gotta love Alaska. That was really cool. I talked to one of the ladies that, um, not the one that got stuck, but the other one, and they've got a couple guys with them. So they just brought a sled full of uh, kitchen cabinets, and they're going up to the cabin, which is about four miles up, putting in their new kitchen cabinets. So, like, only in Alaska would you see kitchen cabinets on a sled going four miles up a trail to a cabin. Okay, it's really cool seeing those Black Hawk helicopters and the significance of that is that spring is coming. The Black Hawks come from um, the Army base down in Anchorage and they help set up base camp on uh, Denali. So when the climbers come towards the end of uh, March and into April, May, they set up a base camp up there and the Black Hawks help set up base camp for all the air taxis here. Why am I wearing a walrus buff? I signed up for the Usyk ski race and it's all virtual this year, but they had these, if you signed up virtually, you'll get a walrus buff. And so we're here at Denali Brewing Company and I picked it up and we're having a beer. It's a great thing to do if you're in Talkeetna. They just added this whole new area here and it's really nice and really big. So it's going to be a definitely a destination spot, but it's a beautiful day. It's almost 30 degrees, sun shining, I'm probably going to get a sunburn and drink a beer. Life is good. It's pizza night at the Flying Squirrel. The Flying Squirrel is one of our favorite places to eat here in town and they have wood-fired wood pizza nights on Fridays and Saturdays and they have some kind of unique pizza. So tonight we're getting a barbecue pork. Yum. And they're, they're takeout only due to COVID. Thank you. 
I'm really, really excited. I get to go on an adventure with my friend Carl. He's got a couple of snow machines. So we're gonna go head up, not that far. But the cool thing about this is uh, it's my dad's property and he died back in 2007. He got this property, oh my gosh, way back in, in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, it's two 20 acre parcels and he never did anything with it. Unfortunately, he did not have a will either, so it's still in his name, and uh, I've got to figure out eventually if it's if it's worth uh, spending the money for probate uh, in order to get it into my name. Borough assessments, not not very much on it, uh, but that's okay. I actually get to go out and see it. My dad was actually only out there a couple of times, and it's really hard to get to in the summertime. It's you know the trail is ultra muddy, and there's not a trail all the way to his property. So basically, uh, Carl uh, was going to take us on the trail and then we've got just about a half a mile off trail to slog through on snowshoes and I will get to set foot on my dad's property which is awesome which I guess is kind of my property but yeah, not officially yet but that's my big adventure for the day. Hey Carl's just come down and here's my ride for the day. So I thought I was going to be unsupervised up to his house. I haven't heard the snow machine in like 13 years, 14 years since I left Alaska. But uh, that is sweet, huh? I love it. All right, that's going to take me a few miles up the mountains here. Officially on my dad's property. There's a clearing up here we're gonna try and get to. First we have to get through this stuff. Why the hell are we in the truck at 10 o'clock at night? Yeah, this is my bedtime. This is why we have missed the northern lights all winter because I'm sound asleep by this point in time. But Rhonda has never seen the northern lights, so we're going to go chase northern lights tonight. The forecast is very good. Three. Well, our hunt for the northern lights last night was a huge success. We got here parked, it was dark, and they were already starting to come out. We were too tired to stay all night, but we Which caught Which is too bad, because we they were got even better. <laughs> we caught a few pictures, um, and today we're back here looking for my gloves that I accidentally kicked out the door in the dark and didn't realize. But no gloves, which is okay. It's towards the end of the winter, and I may be able to get away without them. But it's a gorgeous day with Denali behind us here, and we'll see you in the next video.